welcome back to the Overseer PC. Today we are continuing with our stability testings in Fortnite. This time it's going to be with an Intel CPU and an Nvidia GPU. In this stability test, we'll be using 1080p low settings and capping everything at 240fps to remove any GPU limitation. We'll run the game at all APIs, DX11, DX12 and performance mode. And like before, we have run the game two times before we started recording. The summary of all these tests will be in the later part of the video. Now our focus here is stability and if you want to know more about stability, I've made a video right here. This is very useful and if you like content like this, please hit that like button guys and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and definitely helps us grow. Anyway, let's go. Bada ba boom pow Target locked DX11 is able to maintain mostly 240 FPS, but unfortunately it comes with some erratic frame times, especially on critical scenarios. This is unstable for me and will cause some stutter that you can feel in game, causing you to miss your shots. DX12 is more stable than DX11, and most of the time it's able to reach 240 FPS, unlike our previous test, still has that random frame time spike, and this is as I've said, a Fortnite issue is not a hardware issue, although this is now very rare. And of course, with DX12, we are now using slightly more RAM, CPU, and GPU. This is totally expected as compared to DX11. With performance mode, CPU and GPU utilization, including RAM, are way less. Frame times are slightly erratic, but these are pretty much negligible. Summarizing everything, we are able to see that DX12 still comes with the smoothest frame times, but just take note of those random frame times spike. The results of our previous configuration, the AMD CPU and Nvidia GPU, is consistent with this one. I'd probably stick with the DX12 ABI if I prefer stability. Although if you prefer minimalistic graphics, performance mode is still viable, but DX11, eh, just leave it guys, there's no reason to use it. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.